Yo, what's going on everybody? Um, today I haven't really done much on the, uh, the 240. I'll go ahead and show you guys. Um, I actually just got up here probably about an hour ago. Uh, I was actually on the boat all day. Um, not my boat, so I didn't get any video of that. Um, but I will show you guys what, what did get done. Let's see. All right, so yesterday, or the last video, um, I showed you guys the fuel line right here. Um, I didn't have the bottom hooked up yet, but basically what's, what happens is I actually bent the two, the feed and the return line down here. Hopefully you guys can see. Um, but I bent the two and actually cut off, um, cut off those big two long pieces right there. Um, and basically, so now they're just both coming out right there. That way, whenever I do have the downpipe and all, uh, it just, you know, it clears. Um, so basically what we have is uh, we have this one coming straight into the fuel filter. I mounted the fuel filter there. Uh, it was originally right here, but obviously since the turbo is going to be there, it can't be there anymore. Um, but so anyways, it goes in right there. And, uh, and then the top of this, the top of the fuel filter, I'll show you guys. Top of the fuel filter is going to come and wrap around and plug into the back of the fuel rail, which um, I don't have the fuel rail on right now, but it's no big deal. Um, my buddy took the other parts. Uh, he's gonna weld up, uh, you know, finish welding uh, the piece for the water neck, so that's gonna be good to go. Um, and uh, let's see what else I can do. Uh, what I actually am going to be doing tomorrow, I have to take off this oil feed line right here, uh, or bolt. I have to go and match the bolt and, um, you know, get a turbo oil line. Uh, that way, you know, I have oil in my turbo. And also, if you, you guys were saying the next video, it's going to be running. Um, not quite because, you know, like I said, there's still a couple little things that have to be done. Uh, but it's really close. So, um, not too many more videos until it's running. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to go ahead and take out this radiator real quick and I'm going to uh, test fit the fans just to make sure they fit. And if they do, I'm going to go ahead and uh, bolt the fans or attach the fans. So I'll show you guys how to do that. Okay, I'm not sure how well you guys are going to be able to see. Uh, I can't find my little mount thing that I normally mount you guys to. Uh, but anyways, let's go ahead and open up these fans. I'm hoping they're gonna be. I'm hoping that they're gonna fit. Uh, I almost got 10 inch fans, but I ended up just getting 12 just to make sure. Um, but anyways, let me show you guys. I think these are the same fans that I had on my other car, but I'm not sure. Ooh, that's gonna be awesome. Yeah, look at that. So yeah, that fitment is. Uh, is pretty spot on, you know, then the other one's gonna go there. So yeah, I'm gonna take out this radiator real quick and I'm going to show you guys how to mount these up. And uh, and yeah, so let's do it. Okay, so I kind of found a mount. I think you guys are gonna fall off though, but well, I guess we'll just have to wait and see. So anyways, this is the way the radiator's gonna go. Um, trying to decide now whether or not I want to, I think I'm gonna have them not backwards, but like this. Uh, that way the wiring is at the top and it's easy to get to. Um, let me figure that out and then yeah. Okay, so the, if you buy like a kit, they normally come with these little things. Uh, they basically just slide right down. Um, they sent me four of them, so there's actually a lot more than four uh, on here, but you really only need four, so just put them where you want. Like so, and then there's also some for this, but I'm not going to do that fan yet. Um, and then what else they come with are like little zip ties, and then these little things that go on the end, which you know they just plug in like that. Um, so let me go ahead and position these where I want them, and then I'll show you guys how to put on the zip ties. Okay, and I didn't realize these, but they have these little like uh, I don't know styrofoam looking things. Uh, they're sticky. What you want to do is just put them um, on the bottom side. This is how I do it, guys. You guys can do it however you want. Uh, but what I'm going to do is basically set them underneath the radiator uh, just so it doesn't, you know, rattle around or anything. 
Okay, so it was kind of hard to show you guys because, you know, it's just me here. Anyway, you just put the little uh, foamy thing down there below it, and then you stick the, um, the zip tie through uh, all the way around on every single one of them. And then what you're going to want to do is flip it over and set another uh, one of these foamy things on the other side, and then stick your uh, the end of your zip tie thing through, and then it'll tighten it down. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And I'll show you guys the finished uh, product. Okay guys, so once all these are in, you just want to uh, cut off the excess. Like so. Like so. Like so. Um, this is on the back of the radiator, so you know, it doesn't have to be all the way down. Um, I don't really like to go all the way down just in case I do have to tighten them up ever, which you shouldn't, but you never know. Um, so let me show you guys how this turned out. As you guys can see, both of them are on there. Um, they're straight, they're aligned. So that's good to go. Those are going to fit in there nicely. Um, and then, yeah, so that's pretty simple. You don't really need too much knowledge to do that if you guys are curious. Um, and then, uh, yeah, let me go ahead and I need to take off a couple things uh, to get ready for tomorrow. So before I forget, I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then I'm going to show you guys what I'm going to be doing next. All right, I just did one little thing um, right there. Uh, that's actually the throttle body coolant. Um, so I basically just close loop that uh, straight back into the head over there. Um, because I'm not going to have throttle body coolant, uh, I don't need that, so instead of having to block it off, weld it or something like that, I basically just, you know, bypass it that way. As you guys can see, radiator's done, uh, ready to go back in. Um, I got my, I got the oil line out, or the oil feed uh, bolt out. And I actually have to bring that to the store tomorrow in order to get the right fitting uh, that I need. But then my uh, my blah, 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 turbo line um, will fit. Uh, I got that as I uh, yeah fucking a got that as I already told you guys. Um, so that's ready. Turbo's good. Uh, Got to get about like four more feet of this uh, this nice line. Um, that way, show you guys. That way I can run it from the top of the fuel filter um, all the way to the other side. I don't really need four feet, but hey, it's better than having more than not having enough. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. I'm going to keep it sort of short. It's probably not even short. Uh, <laughs> but um, the next video, there's still a bunch of stuff left to do. Ew! I do not like bugs, man. That shit's gross. Um, but anyways, there's still a lot to do. Got my intake gasket here. Um, I got my gauges here I still need to put in. And then uh, my wiring harness um, and my intercoolers on the roof. So still a couple more things to do, but that you know shouldn't take too long. Uh, I'm gonna be probably, hopefully getting the rest of the, like, the fittings and the lines and hoses and all that stuff uh, that I need tomorrow. Um, and then everything should be good. I'm not sure if I showed you guys this, but we tap the uh, intake air sensor and the 3.5 bar map. This thing's good for like 45 or 50 PSI a boost. Uh, so that's good. So, um, so yeah, it's uh, like 11.30 right now. So, you know, it's time for me to go home because there's bugs all over the, oh, wow. <laughs> it's not gonna lightning whenever I point it over there. But yeah, no, it's time for me to go home. I don't have uh, lightning again. Anyways, it's probably about to start raining. Uh, so yeah, I just need to get home. And um, and yeah, so I hope you guys are enjoying these videos. Stay tuned for the next one. There's going to be a lot of awesomeness uh, happening. Um, a lot more awesome awesomeness than this. And uh, I'm going to be working on the car during the daytime here soon. <laughs> I know the past couple videos have been during, you know, nighttime. So you guys can't really see too much. Uh, but anyways. Hope you guys are enjoying it. Please hit the big thumbs up if you are because that means a ton to me. Uh, it just shows me that you guys are liking the videos and that you guys want more. Um, so please do that. Uh, you don't have to. I would love that. And also uh, hit the big uh, subscribe button. I think we just hit 2,300 subscribers. So I'm super stoked about that. Um, and yeah, stay positive guys. See you guys in the next video. Peace.
Peace. We angled it that way, it comes straight, basically straight to the radiator. Um, and that looks like it'll fit. Uh, possibly a little bit more curve would be, you know, perfect. But 